Hey there everyone, just wanted to do a quick unboxing of the GoPro 12. Just got this the other day. I did open it already. But here are some of the features that you'll be able to use. Waterproof up to 33 feet. Now I didn't get the waterproof case, but I plan on getting that in the future. I am a little excited about this voice control here. Been looking forward to use that. We do a lot of hunting and fishing. Um, a lot of things where our hands are being occupied, so it's gonna be nice to be able to say that. Time warp, not sure what that is. I'd have to research that a little bit more. I'm coming from a GoPro 2, <laughs> so I have a little bit to learn about all this. So this isn't gonna be one of those better features for your new GoPro 12. This isn't going to have a lot of flashy catchphrases and titles. It's just a basic unboxing. So these are all the things that are included. Okay. Cool boxing. Now when you do take the box out, there's another box. And inside that box, it's going to be a quick guide. You're going to have to update your camera. All the 12s are like that. There is a product booklet about warranties and whatnot. They're going to try and get you to subscribe to GoPro, which may not be anything wrong with that. And then there's like a quick start guide as far as getting it all charged up. You are going to have to charge it, okay? And then you got your stickers on the back. A couple other little ideas about mounting and whatnot. Inside that box, like I said, is another box, and it does have that paperwork, but it also has these three new mounts that you're going to be able to use. Okay. I did use an old mount the other day, or yesterday with it, but it seemed a little loose, so maybe this is the better way to go. And now the star of the show, of course, is going to be the GoPro 12. Sorry, it's got a little bit of fingerprints all over it, but I really like the real rubbery... It's real, like it's real, got a good grip to it. And I do like the speckled design all around it. It's got the big screen on the back. Sorry, it's so dirty. Um, it does have the big screen on the back with the GoPro logo. That's gonna be your power mode where you turn it off. This is going to be your start stop for recording or picture taking. Now I went ahead and opened up the side door already. So I wanted to show you a few features. Now, if you look there, you can see right there is where you're gonna, that's where the plug goes to charge it. Your port is right there. Then right up, sorry, this is a little shiny, but there is a little, um, where'd it go? Right there is where you're gonna put your micro SD card. So SD card goes there, charging port is there. Kind of need something if you have chubby little fingers like I do, you might or no nails, you might need to use a little pen or something to get that in and out. Now I want you to pay attention in the back there. There's some little grooves up at the top. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your battery, which here's the GoPro battery. It's a lot bigger than the one I'm used to. And it's got these little sleeves right here that you're gonna just slide that into, okay? So you just push that in. And if you ever want to take your battery out, it does have this little plastic tab right there that you're going to be able to pull up right there. And then you can still see the charging port. And then there's where you put your SD card as well. Okay. All right. So then you just flap that lid and wait for the snap and it's good to go. Now, remember, this isn't waterproof completely very deep, up to 33 feet. Um, so you, if you are going to do a lot of things outside in the water, you're going to have to get the case for it. Also wanted to show you that I was also using an old micro card and it kept telling me that I needed to update it. So when I was at Best Buy the other day, this is, they didn't have a lot left, but this is the one I did purchase. So this is going to be useful with this new GoPro. And, um, one of the things that you're going to want to see when you get yours is that it has that V30. The one I'm using, or I was using, did not have that capability. And it kept suggesting on the screen that I do update a V card with a minimum at V30. 
things. So you want, if, you, <clears throat> if you are going to get a new one, you want to make sure that you get that with that as well. All right, that's it, guys. Just wanted to show you a quick little unboxing. Enjoy. Thanks. Subscribe if you want.